Under Armour and Project Rock series is a great series. I see a ton of people at the gym wearing the Project Rock 2s, the 3s, even the new 4s. But what I don't see as much is the sub-brand, the Project Rock BSRs. Now, you guys, I am ultra excited because just a few months ago, the UFC announced a partnership with Under Armour and Project Rock. So I was wondering what will I see all these fighters wear? I really thought it would be the new Project Rock 4s, but lo and behold, it tended to be the Project Rock BSR. And I guess that is because that's more of like a training shoe, you know, that fighters would use, besides a heavy powerlifting shoe like The Rock uses. So anyways, I first saw this shoe um, during the Francis Nananu fight. He was wearing them, and I was like, what is he wearing? Why is he wearing those? But then I realized, because within a couple months, this shoe that I'm about to show you, same shoe in the title, the Project Rock BSR 2 ended up releasing. Now, I really wanted the shoe, obviously the advertisements got me. Once I saw UFC and Under Armour, two brands I love, together in a partnership, I knew I had to get this shoe. I needed to train in it, I needed to wear it as an outfit, flash it around. Went to underarmor.ca and I saw, you know, it's not a bad price. It's $130. However, I already have so many shoes. Do I really need it? I kind of just want it. So one day I was walking around and you know what? Under Armour is pretty good in Canada. Um, we only have one brand house store, which is Eaton Center, but it doesn't matter because you can always order your things on underarmor.ca and return it to all the local Under Armour factory houses. So I went on a trip to Under Armour Factory House, you know, I'm there quite often, and um, I ended up seeing on the back clearance wall, you know it, even though they're pretty new, right here, Project Rock BSR2. Let me get that nice and close for you so you guys can see the box. You say UA Project Rock BSR2. It's backwards for me. I got it in a 10.5 because I wear 10.5 true to size, and you can see there's a little price here. So normally online, it would be $130, but $99.97 and no top. So what that means is someone ordered this shoe online. You know, I saw the Project Rock BSR 1s and 2s there on that hash wall. So someone ordered them online, tried them on, they didn't like it, and they returned it. And when someone returns something online, if it's not in store, it goes straight to clearance. So what does that mean? They mark it down a percentage from 130 to 99.97. Plus, depending on the promotion, you get either 40, 50, even up to 60% off clearance shoes sometimes. So at the end of the day, I got this shoe for around $50. Great steal of a price. From 130 down to around 50, I cannot complain. Anyways, here it is, the front of the box for more. Don't have the top. Anyways, I'm gonna throw this box away. It's not a collectible. Let's have a look at the sneaker. So I'm gonna put it right here for you guys to see. Maybe on this side, move that away, the laces away so you can have a closer look. And let's take a look. We'll go towards the back. So first you have that big Project Rock Brahma Bowl branding, you know, never left them. And it is screen printed on top of the mesh. Then we move to the back. I don't know what it says. I didn't see it. Blood, sweat, respect. Okay, so, you know, the Rock's logo. Let me get my head out of there so you can have a quick look. Come on, on the medial side. Oh, it says something else here. I didn't notice it. Oh, it just says the Under Armour branding in the foam. Responsive foam on the back. Nice mid support. And then here's the front. Top view of it. Let's look at the front. You have a saying on here. Name, product, rock, type, Under Armour, uh, Under Armour HQ, Iron Paradise, ID, some blood, uh, sweat and respect, and training. So just little little details all over the sneaker. And then the bottom, you know, this is their tri-base technology. Nice and flat, perfect for deadlifting, squatting, any flat movement, heavy lifting you need to do. But it's also rounded out so you can move quickly. Anyways, that's enough. We got both of them here dangling like that. Put it on this one one last time, like that. Anyways, I hope you guys seen enough. Uh, way too late. I'll go throw it on feet so you guys can see how it is on feet. Let's get going. There's the on foot look. You can see front side. Turn it to the sides. They fit just really good. I know I move very awkwardly in this, but that's because you want to see every little angle. 
right, so one thing I forgot to show you, I showed you the on foot, I showed you all around the shoe, but I forgot to show you the insole. So let's see if we can get some lighting shined in there. It just says BSR, has the Project Rock logo, and the same writing that is on the tongue. So anyways, uh, let me know how you guys think this sneaker is. Uh, for me, the on foot, it feels great. I need to get it to the gym and work it out. I would have worn it today to the gym, but it's nice and getting warm in Mississauga, Ontario, and the water, it, everything is getting wet. The snow is melting as well. I didn't want to ruin these right away. So I wore the Project Rock 3s. Anyways, uh, comment below and tell me how you think they compare to the other Under Armour shoes or other Project Rock shoes, other gym shoes. Um, and you comment, I'll let you know how I f uh, think they feel after I test them out and I'll compare them to, you know, the Project Rock 3s, 4s, whatever. Anyways, until next time, guys, take it easy.